perfectly up against the drip line, which is kudos to us yeah, for a perfectly sized platform. Yeah. Okay, so let's measure now. 180 degrees away from the door is like 83 and a half. And the door is like 83 and a half. So it's the same height, six o'clock, 12 o'clock. Let's check every few feet. Okay, now it's pretty much 84 inches all the way around. I've never been so proud of the lighting and shadows. These are the brackets that uh, are gonna go from the lattice wall to the external part of the platform, grip edge, and the frame. It is pretty. Wow. It is in perfect pristine condition. Yeah. You did an awesome, awesome job. step by step. We don't have any prevailing winds in here because we are surrounded by forest. But on the off chance that we clear enough forest for fruit trees and a garden, because we're gonna have to clear this second, third generation, way over planted forest to make room for sunlight for fruit trees and garden. I'm thinking we're gonna be clearing in the forest that way, which means that more wind will eventually find its way in here. And the wind comes from the ocean, which is that way to the south of us. We're gonna turn the center ring so that when we open the dome or close the dome the opening for the dome is away from the wind so that no wind like catches it and blows it off so we're going to orientate the dome opening toward the north toward the lake so this is going to be heavy yeah. so and potentially like i have to lift it up but keep pressure going into the first two beams so that they don't drop out and then fall. Yeah. Okay. And uh, you could do the scaffolding, but I think I can do it with a big ladder here. Wanna 
do that for me? Don't, just don't get hit. You want the other one? Yeah. Are you not entertained? <laughs> Are you not entertained? Woo! Oh my god, that was so nerve wracking. Yeah. It's still nerve wracking, like it's not secure. Like, <laughs> I would not move it. <laughs> we need to get more beans. That looks good. Wait, what? Are you, are ah! you okay? <laughs> What's the problem? That was so nerve wracking. Ugh. I, if, if you have three people, I would definitely highly recommend having three people. Or scaffolding, I mean. Or scaffolding, yeah. We're just living. But that wasn't bad. Like, put it on my head? Yeah. I should have thought that earlier. Like, our, our neighbor Julian came through with the 12 footer. Yeah. Putting it on the head and then having the freedom to like walking it up and then my arms were rested and, and ready. Yeah. So. That's not by the book. The manual says use hard hats and extreme caution, but that is going to be yeah. Blackfish Hollow style. All right. <sighs> I mean, to be honest, it looks like the UFOs are going to come visit us through that hole. <laughs> So it's the next day. How do you think we did? We Good. worked like really late into the night and we didn't really get to appreciate. We couldn't see the, our work. Yeah, it looks so good. I think that it's, it's great because 95% um, of the work is the platform. And since the yurt already comes very professionally engineered, yeah. it's kind of like a piece of Ikea furniture. Well, a little better bit. Better than that, better way than better that. than but that. But in a sense, you're putting it together. so. The lattice wall goes up so quickly in the roof that it looks like months worth of work yeah. in like Just four like, or five hours. Yeah. yeah. It looks so good. I love it.
All right, it's 6 p.m. and we have all of the support trusses in up there. And we brought in the windows with the frames and we have them set in the strategic positions they're gonna be when we install them. And Nicole is deciding where the windows are gonna go because she has all of this laid out, kitchen, eating area, so on. Actually, let me just let her explain it to you guys. Okay, here we go. Okay, so what are we doing with the inside of the yurt? So when you first walk in, it's gonna be all open, of course, it's a yurt. Um, when you look off to the left, it will be the kitchen. So when you step over here, you'll be entering into the kitchen. So right here, we're gonna put like the sink and the countertops and the hanging pots and all that. So here, when you turn around, we're gonna have a big island right here. And then you'll step over here and then we'll have our sitting, eating area right here, table, all that. Which will be lit by that window. Which will be lit by the window, which will also light the kitchen as well. Kind of the window will share responsibility for that. Um, and then you step over here will be like the living room area. We're going to have the fireplace somewhere in this area. Well, not the fireplace, but the wood burning stove. Wood burning stove, yeah. Wood burning stove in this area. So this will be like the living room, sitting area. And then over here will be like the yoga, my yoga area, Jake's martial arts area, stuff like that. And then we'll have a window here that already comes with the yurt. It's like a, like a plastic a vinyl, window. vinyl window, which will go here, which also let more light in. But it's a larger window that's at 12 o'clock and the front door is at six o'clock. Yeah, so it's, this is, I'm facing the front door right now. So this will be like the sitting area trees that's a big noise so if you continue on this way we're gonna put a loft right up here so jake and i are gonna have our bedroom up top so we'll have our loft up here and then down below we're gonna have like our office area so we'll have like more like bean bags a chill kind of area i guess and then at some point we're gonna get another door so we're gonna put just a regular standard door here but it'll be a glass door yeah which will be a glass door that will open up to the bathroom, which is going to be over here. But for right now, this is just going to be below the loft. And it'll just be like a sitting area. And then, yeah. But this door will also go out to the compost toilet, but also to fruit tree orchard and garden area, which will be in this little valley that is behind Nicole. That's kind of begging for a garden area. And then a deck all around the yurt so we can walk around it and have outdoor eating and outdoor yoga and outdoor qigong yes which will be yeah we already yeah that's another thing we're back to the front door and then we'll have obviously deck right here and then probably off to the side we'll have like a mud room where we'll take off our dirty shoes and all that stuff so because we are in the rainforest so we yeah. gotta have that nice tour of the uh circle yeah <laughs> all right then this is the design okay as you wish <laughs>